Hello, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Ho, 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 boys and girls. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, there's something very, very, very important and not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people who like to smoke, people who like to drink, people who have who's into gangs and posses, marijuana, PCP, okay, everything what everybody else like to do. You shouldn't watch my videos. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I don't look for validation. I don't look for subscribers. I didn't ask you to, but you want, you can, but that's going to get me in trouble, you know. But other than that, you check out my credentials down below. And um, you can get in touch with me through Mandel Evans, XX on both sides. You got to put both of those X's there. You can directly get in contact with me if you have a question. So New Year's Revolu Revolution will be about... 2023 and what it's going to be about like i predicted in this this country <clears throat> and this year i'm also going to predict the same thing in um 2023 don't put your eggs in one basket if you have any comments questions insults or roast fest, you put it down below you can roast me i love that when people actually make funny comments that's not corny like they're from another country they don't know what the fuck they're America is the most funniest, funniest country in the world. The best dancers are here in America. The best talent is here because of all the diverse people in the world. For next year, 2022, it will be a year of reconciliation and reflection. In which a lot of guys who are in their beta modes and a lot of prostitutes and women who rode the cock carousel too much will realize that their self-worth will be about self-reflection. And reconciling the differences between people in the past and of yourself, indeed. Um, this video is also about not to put your eggs in one basket, peoples. If you're a female, okay, let me let me let me say something here. And you met a guy who's very. I had just had this conversation with someone, so I just want to get it off my head. Um, if you met a guy who's very strict and stern, okay, that's that was your soulmate, okay, because you didn't have a father figure. OK, and I, I don't blame all women, OK, that because they didn't wasn't trained by an alpha father. It's just that, you know, if you do come across someone who's real strict and stern about their ways, they're really insecure about getting hurt. Like I'm being honest with you. Everybody's insecure in some sort of way. OK, some people trust too much. And that's when they those individuals transform like myself. I got hurt in my past. Sure, I was a beta and I was a beta alpha, but I was never a simp in my life. Most of the time when you continue to be a simp, okay, you stay in that beta emotions. But if you're a woman, you met a guy who's really strict and stern and he sounds controlling, that's a great man. Okay, trust me on that. A lot of people would say, oh, uh, that, that he's just controlling and yeah, he's abusive. But most people don't know what they're talking about. Most relationships are 80% terrible. They're not, you're not supposed to be in a relationship without the father. Where's the father approving, giving you approval of your boyfriends? They're not there, right? And nine times out of ten, if you don't have an alpha father, you're going to be nine times out of ten alone. You're going to have that problem because you're going to be picking guys. Um, this is a lot of message for the women, too. Now, I'm not talking just for the for the guys and everything in between. But a lot of women haven't been trained or they refuse the training. OK, and then they, when they get older, then they be like, oh, I made a mistake. But it'll be too late. It'll be too late, babies. Ho, ho, ho. That's what ho, ho, ho means. OK. Um, you're going to be a hoe and then you're going to make mistakes and then you didn't, your father didn't train you. You got to come to me for that information. You're not going to get it from Kevin Sim Samuels. He is not a therapist like I am. I am an eccentric therapist, a person who is schizo and also have all of the knowledge in the world that you need to know. There's a lot of scholars I talk to and I ask them a question and they can't answer it correctly. Then we know that human beings cannot comprehend the equation of quarks and certain physics that are beyond the scope of their knowledge. Now, never put your eggs in one basket, guys. Never put your eggs in one basket. This is very an important thing for no matter if you're alpha, you're a beta alpha, or you're an alpha, or you're a beta. Betas, beta alphas, and alphas. 
Now, for females, you you not putting your eggs in one basket means like, let's say you met this guy. You know he's not a virgin, okay? Because most of the time, females approach guys who they know, they sense it that they're not virgins, okay? You know? And other than that, okay, you be, you mess with this guy simply stri strictly because of his attraction, strictly because of his money. This Those main two things why women are attracted to men, right? So you put all your basket, all your money and your effort into that man. Now, like I say, if he's older, you can do that because he's not going anywhere. As long as you're still functionable and as long as you, you, you're still serviceable, like uh, Hugh Hefner, look at him. He had all them women in his house, you know, and nobody looked down on him as a pedophile, all the women are 18. You can put your eggs in one basket when you get that money. And you put that money and reinvest that shit. That's a smart hoe. Okay, you ho, 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 ho. If a man pays you, you got a sugar daddy. It's hard to come by sugar mommies these days. So I, I always try to be looking. I'll be trying to look. I'll be on the internet. I'm almost everywhere on the internet. I even put down I'm a professional individual. Yada, yada, yada. You know, I do services. Gigolo and services. I do virtual boyfriend, which nobody really does no more. But trust me, when you're a female and you're putting all your eggs in one basket in an older man, <clears throat> or if you're putting all your eggs in an alpha, which most women don't like alphas. They don't really like alphas. Trust me on that. I'm an alpha. Okay? You, you, you put your eggs in one basket. He's going to make sure he put a guideline. He's going to tell you some rules and regulations. That's when you put your eggs in one basket. You got to let down that guard because you're not going to survive out here in 2022, babies. You're just not. Now, for you guys, however, it's a little bit harder. It's definitely harder because most of you aren't alphas, okay? I mean, some of you may think that you're an alpha. You can't even call yourself alpha because you listen to beta males saying nobody can call themselves anything, okay? No one can call themselves an alpha. Well, what you can, if you do have videos, you can call yourself an alpha. I'm alpha because dot, dot, dot. Now, or how can you prove to me that you're an alpha? Right. I talked to this guy and I seen this guy talking about you can't call yourself. Yes, I can, because I got videos. Where's your videos at, dog? You got any videos that you've been with two women? You got videos that you was on Pornhub? You got any videos that you traveled overseas? Do you have any videos <clears throat> of you talking to a woman who accepts your polygyny standards and your virginity standards and do the things I do? No. OK, so ho, ho, ho. You never sell for one. Okay, that's for you guys. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Women are seasonal. They need other sisters in order to validate themselves because you can't validate a woman when she's not trained by an alpha in the beginning. You can't. No one can really validate anybody, as a matter of fact. All right? Because there's a lot of guys who be like, thinking about, they coming to me, and they think I'm looking for validation from them. But really, I cut them off because I ain't got no time for no riffraff. You know, the devil don't defeat me. I defeat them. I cut them off. Then they come back running back to me. I said, nah, nah, man, you got to pay, man. You got to pay, pay for your services. You guys don't ask for payments. You, you too much into the world of hitting that ass, okay? You too much into the world of hitting ass. But my message here for today is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because you never know, <clears throat> since you don't have the skills to test a person, you don't have the cojones, you don't have the balls, you don't have the knowledge. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Don't put your eggs in one basket. I know you guys turn into incels when you start killing motherfuckers up. You start killing your exes. Like I keep seeing guys is doing some heinous shit to women. Man, I keep telling the women stop playing with these men's hearts. I keep telling you women. I said, yo, man, I see so hear so many stories. Guys snapping and shit. I tell guys all the time, if you want to snap, don't just kill innocent people. Don't do that shit. Don't kill innocent people unless they killed your innocent child or some shit. You yeah, fight fire with fire. You could do that, eye for an eye. I don't do eye for an eye. I do eye for two eyes. I don't do that. I usually tell this is what's going to happen. And, you know, my daughter respects me like that. And everybody respects me. That's why I stay the fuck away, because I would take an eye for two eyes. I do not do an eye for an eye. I make sure you learn. Now, if you give me something positive, I give you two times positive. Isn't See, that's a good trade-off. If you give me a compliment, I have to give you two compliments. You give me a bad out, a bad out of hell or some shit, I'll give you two bad out of hell. So you got to understand that you learn faster that way. You understand that no God does what I do. But other than that, <clears throat> I hope you understand my message. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. New Year's resolution for 2022. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, motherfuckers. I'm out of here, guys. This your Godhead, Emerald Peeler, out. Follow me. Check out my credentials down below. And stay away from that goddamn stupid 19 shit. But <clears throat> if you want to be stupid, have a nice day. Have a nice life. Peace.
in um, <clears throat> 2022, we want to see the results of this, these adverse effects reactions. Okay, so just, just bear with me now here. And, and, you know, the media controls everything, so let them control it, okay, you know. But if people aren't into the media, then you're fine, okay? You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just basically saying do what you want to do. But I do not recommend stupid 19 shots or booster shots. It's your body, your will, your choice. And you women are going to have to defend that because that's what you've been saying. It's my body, my choice. You don't understand the difference between a life born within you and then you want to take the life without you. Okay, because that doesn't make any sense. And you're not a murderer if you killed, if you aborted three babies. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Let's keep your legs closed. Okay, let's don't do it. Don't create life. <laughs> but anyway, everything has life. So we all are murderers. How about them? Trees is life. If you become a vegan, you're still killing life. Okay, no matter. You're killing organisms every day. This body, the things that's in your body is killing life all of the time. So what are you going to do about that? Are you going to kill yourself? No, 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 you're not going to kill yourself, okay, because there's some things out of your power, but getting pregnant is in your power, okay? I don't want to hear no excuses like, oh, no, 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 I can get it, I can get an abortion. What about that man permission? Okay, let that man take care of that child, okay? Because women are terrible at taking care of children. They, from my experience, <laughs> woo, 80% of women are terrible at taking care of children. All right, so I'm just going to call it like I know it because that's anecdotal experiences. I'm talking about anecdotal because most of you guys haven't talked to that many women like me. I'm sorry. And um, other than that, I'm out of you guys because I'm not Joe Harris, man. I'm not Joe man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Happy New Year. And a merry good thing. All right, guys. Remember what the, your resolution is for next year. Ho, ho, ho. Leave them hoes alone now. Unless you're going to get paid by them. Like a pimp or something, you know. It's a hard thing to do now. Because women are broke. And broke. Okay. Now, other than that, I'm out of here. And y'all have a good holiday and a happy new year. Okay. What is the new year's resolution going to be? Okay, what is what's it gonna be? It's gonna I don't know what you're gonna do. Y'all all, all y'all relatives resolution, every person who's watching me, your resolution should be self reflection. And fixing the resolution from all of the things that you did and see in your life, okay? And understood on the inside of yourself, okay, alright? Peace. And don't put your eggs in one basket.